Hey everybody, it is Ninja Draws Art back again for another video. Today I'm going to be finishing a drawing that I started in colored pencil of Inuyasha. I have been seeing on TikTok and other places uh, people using this darker paper and I wanted to try it out for myself and I also saw like the technique of putting on a whole lot of color and usually when I use color pencils I'm a little bit more light-handed so it was interesting to try this technique um, and it definitely used a lot of color pencils so make sure that you have a good sharpener to sharpen those pencils um, and Yuyasha is another one of my favorite silver whitish hair boys um, some of the things that I really like about Inuyasha as a character is that he has a sweet side um, but he doesn't really want people to know that he has a sweet side so when we first meet him uh, he's trying to keep that hidden and I have been really enjoying continuing watching in Yasha. I'm preparing to watch Yashahime but I felt like I really needed to finish watching all of Inuyasha first to get the full effect of Yashahime. Let me know who your favorite character from Inuyasha is and what you think of the continuation in Yashahime. Also, let me know if you like my traditional art and you would like to see more colored pencil or Copic markers, that would be very helpful. So on to with my drawing here. I have started with the, the cloak of the fire rat that Inuyasha wears. It was kind of hard to pick the color for the cloak because it is a red, um, but I think I picked a pretty good color red and I started out a little darker so um, this one is a little bit lighter, but then that allowed me to do go in with the darker color for the shading, which you'll see later on. I really didn't realize that Inuyasha's necklace was a purple color. Uh, for some reason, I thought it was a blackish color, probably because I got a bracelet. Um, and the bracelet ended up being like black beads with the white teeth, but then I got a necklace that is a replica of Inuyasha's necklace, and it has the purple beads. And watching Inuyasha again, it definitely is purple, not black. But it, I really do like the purple color. It adds another color to Inuyasha's aesthetic. I have also recently drawn Shishomaru. It was really fun to draw him digitally, so you may see me, my process of drawing Lord Shishomaru digitally. Uh, I kind of like the dynamic the two brothers have in the story. They kind of don't want anything to do with each other, but they're still willing to help each other, which is cute. Let me know which of the two brothers you like better. Well, I hope you enjoyed my coloring of Inuyasha. I'll see you next time for another video. Ninja Draws Art, out.